Hello again. My name is uh, Preston Stroud, and I'm uh, creating a video of one of the other projects I'm working on here. This is the uh, Abling Gravity Wheel. Um, you can look it up on Bessler Wheel, Over Unity, uh, even on uh, the PESWiki.com. You can find pages um, with information on this. So what I've been doing is creating a replica of it. The concept here is that... Um, uh, oh yeah, I borrowed the weights from the other wheel over yonder and put them in here for a test. The concept here is that um, the, the weights sit in this slot on the right hand side. They, they roll down, they hit the ramp at the bottom. And let me show you the weights on here. You can see the weights, they come down, they hit the ramp, they start rolling across the ramp right here. And as they roll across, it, it's kind of just rolling vertical, which is real sweet. It just rolls vertical across. And as it's rolling across, it's kind of lifting at the same time. And here's the opposite one. If we follow that straight up, here it is on the opposite side. So as it's lifting, it lifts right, it folds up. It just kind of rolls right across, folds up, and drops right into the slot. You can see over here the ramp. And I put a little bump right here on this end. And what it does is at that bump, it falls into the slot at the top and then just drops down. And then uh, it's free right here. You can see it becomes free and all the weights now pulling on the top up there. So here we are going up. Let me show you the inside. There's a split axle here. As you can see down in the middle, there's no axle going through the middle, so it stops on both sides here. And with a split axle, I have crossbars. Now, some guys on the forum tried to build replicas of this also, and uh, I saw a couple of different ones. A real nice one from a guy, a uh, metal one. And then Dusty on the forum, he built another one on over Unity. Uh, but I never saw crossbars on theirs. And I, I felt like theirs, theirs failed. I feel like they didn't work because they were missing crossbars. However, I've got crossbars, but I haven't uh, gotten to the point of having a complete wheel yet to run a full test. So let me give you a, a quick glance of how this works, okay? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to start uh, turning it my hands. You can see it shooting weights up into the top. As I'm turning it, the weights come up and they just they jump right up. Okay, so you're probably wondering why doesn't it work? Or it obviously doesn't work, right? Alright, here's what's going on. I have, um, let's see, 12 weights in it right this minute, and the original wheel had 16 weights in it. And I cut out 16 slots. So you can see a slot here that has no weight on it. And there's another one over here that has no weight. But here's my little problem. I, uh, I put a 2x6 in there to kind of hold the wheel apart for the split axle. And I've got to now put some other different braces in it so I can remove the 2x6s and finish putting in the other four weights and crossbars. And uh, just so you can get a quick glance right here. Each one of these weights, each one of these has a um, bearings, has two bearings that roll on the slot in here. And you can see two bearings that roll over here on this side. So, you got it? Bearings on both sides, split axle, and the ramp. So you can see the same ramp over here. You see the little bump right there. Okay. And then from over here, you'll see the same thing at a different angle. Let's look at it from this angle. And I'm, what, I'm, what I want to do is uh, put the other four weights in it and then see if it works. And if not, do a little fine tumults on it. But I'm just trying to prove whether the concept, uh, whether I can replicate it or not. Uh, see, I'm jumping up at the top. Let me show you the bottom. Now, let me tell you why I, was, why I was interested in this concept here, okay? Uh, the Abling Gravity Wheel, uh, there was a little video that a news crew did, news crew did of the Abling Wheel. And uh, uh, basically, he has a contract with a company to build the world's first gravity power plant over in the Netherlands. Now, you know, a lot of people said, well, you can't believe what you, you know, you can't believe that. 
So some people on the Over Unity forum uh, called up the power plant and asked them and they said yes, they do indeed have a contract with Mr. Abeling. And this is not a hoax, it is the real thing. And uh, the same person on the forum also spoke with Abeling directly who confirmed that this was a real working will. Now the, the video we, ha we saw of it uh, just showed the shape which we look at here. A shape very similar to this of uh, the shape of the slots, okay? But the video we saw did not have any crossbars or weights in it, but we could see a little bit of the ramp, okay? That was in his original video. You can find that on PESWiki.com. It's PureEnergySystemsWiki.com. Um, okay. So you can see this the concept here I'm working on. Again, my name is uh, Preston Stroud, and uh, this is a replication attempt of the Abeling gravity wheel that is going to be used in the world's first gravity power plant. All right. Thank you, and have a nice day.